Hello guys, today is August 18th, 2021. Just an update on the car situation. Um, drove it around the street a couple laps. Uh, let it idle first for like 10, 15 minutes. Car wasn't overheating. Uh, I was told that if the thermostat was working and opening and closing, that uh, once it opened up, the fan would engage. And um, that happened, the fan turned on. Uh, as you can see, you can kind of hear that there's more coolant in there. It feels like there's some pressure in there now. As I push on it, you can hear the coolant in there, and then more so at the bottom. There's a lot of coolant down there. Um, originally, this thing needed a fuel pump. There is a new fuel pump inside. Uh, I had somebody come out. They rewired the fuel pump, got power going to it, fuel pushing up into the system but the regulator inside was leaking place that the car started up uh, however I'm at the point right now I just need to get this thing where I can trust it to go down the street and I did a test drive yesterday did uh, a lap lap and a half the car died it just lost complete power and then started it up and it uh, ran again um, it's got new spark plugs in it. We've changed the oil out, fresh gasoline, fuel filters in there. Now there are some fuel leaks. Uh, some of the lines at the fuel filter are kind of old. I'm going to show pictures. And the filler neck uh, gasket is bad. That's at the gas tank. And I know Firestone broke that and people are like, well how do you know? Well I had that replaced in 2012. So I don't. I've, I haven't heard of anybody having to have two filler neck gaskets replaced, you know, on their car. And obviously, you can look at it, and it's torn under there. But I, I'm not able to get it out. All right. So somebody also suggested that uh, I need to ble uh, relieve air from the uh, thermostat housing. However, everything is seized up here. Uh, tried everything you know I'm just only gonna strip this thing out I uh, used KB blaster I used an Allen hex with an extension bar I uh, even let the car warm up and then tried still wouldn't come out we tried going down to the coolant temp sensor that's not working that thing seized up and I remember taking this thing out it was so easy so something seized up in there and then I you know, as you can see, there's no ignition coil. I just took that off to get to the coolant temp sensor. But yeah, it's kind of frustrating. It's been two months without a car. I've been fixing this on and off or trying to get it fixed since uh, January. So it's kind of frustrating. You know, I can't, you know, get anybody out here on a consistent basis. I've had five people look at the car, three different shops. Uh, I mean, this car can be fixed, but it's just getting somebody out here, you know. It's just like, you know, and I don't have the luxury of towing this car halfway across the city, you know, and that's kind of what happened, you know. Firestone was the only shop around. I had good relations with them in the past, but then, you know, when I got the car back, you know, it was just, it, it is what it is. But right now, I'm still trying to figure out what's going on with the car. We also, I also got the PCV valve replaced in there, so that's new. So, yeah, still trying to figure this out. If anybody has any ideas, like I said, I'm not a mechanic. I know just enough to get myself in trouble. All I have is my, my toolbox there. You know, I'm not, you know, I don't have, you know, tools to tear this thing apart or, or let alone a jack that will get it up. But if anybody knows anything or can help, you know, I desperately need help so let me know. Thanks.